and being cared for by its mother. Well, pandas do it, bees do it, <laughs> and birds do it, and now Australian scientists have discovered where it all started. And it turns out the origin of sex is a bit of a fishy story, captured in rock nearly 400 million years ago. It turns out the earliest sex might not be as sexy as we'd like to think. All the way around the ring. They couldn't have done it in a missionary position. The very first act of copulation was done sideways, square dance style. Copulation, the intimate act of sexual um, intimacy to, to reproduce, was something we always think of in, in human terms, mammalian terms. But sharks copulate and fossil fish called placoderms were the very first type of animals to invent this kind of behaviour. The findings published in the prestigious journal Nature reveal sex is twice as old as the first dinosaurs. It all started much earlier in evolutionary history than we thought. In fact the world's very first lovers were a type of 385 million year old Scottish armoured fish. The wee fish also show the first known examples of gender in vertebrate evolution, something that has scientists excited. And these are the grooves they use to transfer sperm into the female. These fossils are incredibly common in museum collections right around the world. Uh, there's hundreds of them in museums in England and Scotland and America, and yet we're the first time to pick up that they actually had distinct male and female sexual organs. The move from spawning to internal fertilisation, with young being carried inside the female, is significantly the very start of behaviours that created us. Well, placoderms were thought to be a dead-end group with no relevance to modern living animals. Recently, though, discoveries like this and others recently published have shown that placoderms are deeply rooted in the ancestry of all of us. And so by studying them and their anatomy, we're learning more about our own deep, distant evolution. And it appears the first sex didn't last long, with placoderms losing the ability to copulate, only to re-evolve it later on. Another mystery science is yet to put to bed. Karen Ashford, SBS World News. Oh, yeah.